What is up? It's Dean Soto with Freedom in 5 Minutes, and today we're going to be talking about training, experience, and process. Which is most important? Training, experience, and process. That and more coming up. So I had this interesting story happen. Let me grab my coffee. I had this. So this morning I woke up to an email. An email from a client who is moving forward through the onboarding process. They're just get, now getting a virtual systems architect. And <laughs> we had introduced them to this virtual systems architect. Mm, that smells good. I think my I think my wife I think my wife brought me some food uh, and it's outside the door. Anyway, I'll get that right after this story. So started to get the process of having this virtual systems architect and there had been a lot of back and forth mainly because of old habits from the customer side when they came to me they wanted to have somebody who could do who can create systems who can document things who can do all that and then implement all of that stuff right however a lot of us have these old habits you have old habits, I have old, old habits, that we think things need to be a certain way. So this morning I woke up to an email from these particular customers who said, hey, the person that you introduced us is great. However, can we get somebody with ClickFunnels experience, with Shopify experience, with some email marketing experience, and so, so on and so forth. So, they had been they had actually been on the onboarding process for a long time because they couldn't make up their mind on, on certain things. And then boom, this happens. And I'm like, oh my gosh, really? This is what I get to wake up to? <sighs> well, here's the deal is that with that, with that whole situation, that is based off of an old habit. A lot of old habits that many, many, many business owners have is that is that in the old, I would say the old way of doing business, especially online, and it's not it's not that it's not important to have experience. It's not that it's not important to have uh, some kind of training in something. But when you have extremely clear processes, when you have extremely clear procedures, a lot of the times experience goes out the window. A lot of the times training goes out the window. And so what you're left with is the value of the process, all right? And that sounds really weird. That probably sounds extremely like, yeah, right, okay. So you want somebody with no experience? Well, sometimes that's true. In fact, I was I was talking with a I was talking with a guy who was actually a cold lead from an email that I put out, and he's built a couple of different businesses, and he's an older guy, older balding gentleman around probably around sixties or seventies, and we're on on Zoom, and I'm telling him basically what we do with our virtual systems architects that you can show them how to do something once they document the whole whole entire thing step by step, and then they're able to do it. You know, you're spending five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, boom, everything gets documented and then they're able to do it. Well, something came up where he, where I said, I said, how did I say it? I said, it's not training, it's creating a process, creating a procedure. It was very different. And he says, oh, well, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. No, oh, immediately calls me out. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's not. So training is, you're training people on a concept. Yeah, you might have a procedure in there, but you're training them more on the concept. Whereas when you have a process, you are literally showing them step by step how to do something. And that gets documented. And so we were got into this heated argument on training versus process. And, and when it came down to it, guess who was right? I was right. Yeah, I was right. Because because you can have training, you can you can say you can have training doesn't necessarily mean that it is an actual step by step process, okay? And experience doesn't actually mean that if this person has ten years of ClickFunnels experience or ten years of email marketing experience, that they're going to be able to do what you want them to do right now. 
So say I have 10, minute, 10, 10 years of uh, using Infusionsoft or in using, using Active Campaign or something like that, and you say, well, go, go build me a campaign, go, give, go build me a referral sourcing campaign or something like that. I might have my own way of doing that. You might have your own way of doing that, right? So there's not going to be this mix. There's not going to be a, a intermean. In, there's not going to be a cohesive, synergistic. This is how I want it done. Okay, it's just not going to happen. Now, does that mean that that experience that I have, the ten years experience, isn't going to help? Heck yeah, it's going to help. But not it, when you think about it. If you have a process that says this is how we create a, this is how we create a referral sourcing campaign step one we do this step two we do that step three we do this step four we do that step five we do that is my 10 years experience really going to add a ton of value to that already existing process is it going to uh, speed up things tremendously no not really because the difference between someone looking at it for the first time and going, okay, so first thing I do is I go to infusionsoft.com. Because what am I going to do? I'm going to go to infusionsoft.com, right? Even out of habit, infusionsoft.com because I've done it for 10 years. Okay, next I'm going to click the login button. I'm going to click the login button even though I have 10 years experience. There's not that big of a difference. Even when it gets to, okay, go to campaigns and click click the goals the goal, the goal thing up here where it has a picture of where it is click the goal uh, for click the goal for adding a tag or whatever click and drag to the campaign like so i'm going to do the same thing i'm i might i might be a little bit faster just because i understand the the product more and i've been using it but it does not mean it does not mean <laughs> necessarily that I'm going to have this humongous advantage. I may, be, I may be able to help you to be more strategic or things like that. But if you want just something to be done, when you have a process for it, you, there, there, you really don't need someone with experience. And I, and I know that sounds weird. My food's ready? Yeah. All right. I love you. Okay, I'll come open the door. Right back. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're the best, bud. <laughs> Thanks, my love. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Sweet. So, they, with most concepts, with most people they they feel like they need that experience cuz that's the way it's always been done they feel like they need that experience or they feel like they need to train somebody on a specific concept for example to create the referral source a lot of the times people think well i need to give them training on infusionsoft and what infusionsoft is and why we use it and all this other stuff when a lot of the times that is not even relevant it doesn't even matter um, and that's totally heretical. I know it sounds heretical to even say that. I know it sounds completely heretical to say that. But we have prospects, we have clients who have their guys using systems that are proprietary systems. That, that there could not be any way that they would have had any experience with that particular system. Proprietary systems for that particular business that the person could not have learned it simply by training or by prior experience. It wasn't going to happen. But they get in because the because the prospect, because the client or whatever had already done the videos on how to do bup, 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 how to do all of these things. Then the virtual systems architect is then able to document the entire process and then start using that thing almost immediately, right? And so when it comes to experience versus training versus process, the one that wins out 
all the time for the, I, I would say 95% of the time, 99% of the time, the one that wins out, the one is the most important, but it's the one that's the least sexy. It's the least sexy out of all of them is process. And that's why we developed what we did to just show them how to do something. They document, the virtual systems architect will then document everything pop, 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 for you. So you're spending 10, 15 minutes, five minutes, doing that one thing, showing how to do that one thing, it gets documented because nobody wants to spend hours documenting systems. Like one five minute video usually takes about an hour if you were to do it yourself, right? And so you figure a 15 minute video, that's three hours out of your day to do it. Uh, but it. But these processes have extreme impact extreme impact on your business because now that person can immediately start doing that 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 task right so when it comes to process when it comes to training when it comes to experience and it comes to process process is the most important and what do i mean by process i mean step by step procedures preferably with a, an image showing where to click, what to do. It can be an iPhone video. It could be where, it, it's just showing what exactly is happening, what needs to be done, right? So because then that person can take, and yes, it seems robotic, but that person can then know, understand, and do that process right away, okay? So focus on process. Why is this important? Focus on your process. And a lot of the times you might think, ah, well, I, everything I do is so complicated, but that's bullshit too. It's not. That it's just because you're so used to doing it yourself or it's just you're so used to being more conceptual in, in what you're doing and not really seeing exactly what you do, that is what makes it possible for you that is what makes it possible for you to, to start seeing, oh my gosh, what I'm doing actually is a process. Like these questionnaires or these questions that I'm asking my customers when I call them up, these are the same questions I ask all the time. Uh, or it's like an if then, if this customer has this amount of liquid capital, then I say this. If they don't, then I say this, right? Uh, a lot of the times it's just because we think Oh, what we do is so special. What we do is so important. Nobody else could do it when in reality, a lot of other people can do it. So it's important right now. What I'm challenging, to, challenging you to do right now is look at what you're doing, whether it's at home, whether it's a business, whether it's with whatever, with um, current, current business stuff that you're doing. Look at what you're doing right now and really truly see, am I doing something that is a process or is this something that's, you know, really I can outsource to somebody else. And you'll see very quickly that the majority of what you're doing, because the majority of what I do, the majority of what I do is a process, is a process. Maybe 2% of what I do is not a process. And that 2% is what makes, makes me have my X factor, right? Same thing with you you have your X factor that nobody else can do, but it's probably two to 5% of what is actually going on in your business, okay? So I challenge you to look at that right now, okay? So um, go to uh, freedomin5minutes.com. Um, that will be, uh, uh, that right now, it's, uh, right now it's just a podcast there, but it will be where we're housing a lot of our virtual systems architects. It's no longer going to be ProSulum. Um, ProSulum is the overarching business. However, um, you can go there if you if you do want to uh, get a con consult call. Um, and uh, but eventually, it's going to be freedominfiveminutes.com, and uh, we will see you there soon. See ya.